a lot of work to bring light upon the subject and to, to get this passed. So. The mother of a Westbrook High School student killed in a soccer team bus crash six years ago tomorrow. The mother's fight for bus safety is yielding results. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. And I'm Bill Leche. Thank you for joining us tonight. The Senate has approved a bill that calls for safety improvements on commercial buses, including charters. Among other things, the bill would force operators to put safety belts on commercial buses, improve the strength of bus roofs, find ways to cut the risk of rollover crashes, and reduce the threat of fires after crashes on commercial buses, including charters. On March 29, 2006, Westbrook students Ashley Brown and Alicia Benura died when a charter bus carrying the girls' soccer team overturned in Liberty County. About 20 team members were hurt. Since the crash, Brown's mother has fought for tougher safety rules for school and charter buses. Six News anchor Ashley Gaston has more on a mother's six-year journey. She lives on through the rest of these girls, and she's in the hearts of her team and the parents that are working towards this. Melanie Pensick is talking about her daughter, Ashley Brown. Pensick is on a mission to make sure other teenagers don't die on a school trip. This month of March, I've decided that I'm going to turn my grief into a positive thing. It was March 29th of 2006 when Melanie says her world stopped. The Westbrook girls soccer team was on its way to a playoff game in the Houston area when their charter bus crashed on Highway 90 near Devers in Liberty County. It's my mission in life to complete this and be sure that other mothers don't have to go through what I've been through. And um, that's what brings me peace. That's the one thing I could say that, that does bring me some peace is to know that I'm doing everything I can. Including traveling to Washington, D.C. Melanie took these pictures that decorate her desk at work and shared them with That's hundreds of people at a transit and group meeting. Coaches the group wants to see tougher standards for charter buses and motor coaches. We had a standing ovation, um, which was very emotional very emotional. It just showed us that people do care and are willing to um, stand up and say this is something that we desperately need mm -hmm. here in the U.S. The Senate agrees. It passed a bill that would require all charter buses to be equipped with seat belts and other safety measures. It was very exciting news for, for all of us and we've been really working on this for a while and um, and we'll continue to mm -hmm. work as long as it takes. It may take more time. The journey isn't over. But Melanie Pensick vows to travel as many miles as it takes for safer travel and for her daughter. In Beaumont, Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. The next step for the federal bill is the U.S. House. The Texas legislature passed the Ashley and Alicia law several years ago. It requires lap belts on all Texas school buses purchased after 2010. Nearly half of the more than 220 buses in the Beaumont School District are equipped with seat belts.